Oh yeah, this will do nicely. Hello, I am Morgan and it would be a delight if we could style our coffee tables together today. This coffee table is a vintage trunk that I made the lid for myself. I have five different looks planned out for today. Um, some we're gonna pack the surface of the table to capacity and some will be a little bit more minimalist. Because if you ask me today, I want my coffee table one way, but then if you ask me today, but in one hour, <laughs> I wanted another way. So I wanted to include a variety of different styles. Let's do it. All right, let's look at five coffee table styles in under five minutes. This first one is called the flavor of the week. And that's because at the time that I was writing this video idea, this is how my coffee table was already decorated. So I definitely thought I should include it. It has some of my all-time favorite design elements all in one coffee table, books, a golden pothos, that's that beautiful vining plant, a candle, some little gold tchotchkes. I learned how to spell tchotchkes the other day and it starts with a T, wild. But yeah, that is coffee table look number one and I think it really encompasses my personality. I love this one a lot. That is the flavor of the week. Look number two, I am calling mirror image and that is because for the base of this table, I'm using a mirror that I got at an antique store. There you are in the mirror. There's your reflection in the camera. So I put that down as the base and then I'm using a simple vase full of greenery on top. And while we're on the subject, I have a fantastic budget greenery hack. Trees, <laughs> hear me out. Sometimes you just need someone to tell you what's right in front of your face. I told my mom that I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby and pick up some greenery for vase fillers. And she said, just come over and trim my tree. It's totally free. What? mind blown. So I did that. I went over, I trimmed her corkscrew willow, looked ridiculous on the doorbell cam to my husband as I was bringing it back inside, and it was totally free. Now I was going to leave the look like this where I could put remotes, glasses, whatever on the left side of the mirror to be functional, but if there's one thing about me, it's that I cannot leave a good thing alone. I have to, if I can add more decor, I'm going to. <laughs> so that is the second look of look number two, but then guess what? It's buy one, get two free day, because here is the third way that you could style look number two. I removed the clock, pushed the books forward, and then added a little candle. So for mirror image, you could do it like this, like this, or like this. Millie loves all three ways equally. Coffee table number three is called the Asymmetrical Minimalist. It's, I'll be the first to tell you, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's a tray and a vase of greenery, but I wanted to include it because sometimes you just have to see something in someone else's home to say, oh, I already have the stuff for that at home and I think that would look really cute. I could incorporate that into my style. And if you are not an asymmetrical girly, just push it to the middle and it's the symmetrical minimalist. Style number four is called All My Remotes in One Basket. On the left side, I'm starting out by stacking two books. And I thought it looked really nice how one of the books was a pop of color. And then I am reducing, reusing, recycling that plant from the first look and then laying our basket down. To be honest, I shopped my home for this. I didn't buy anything new, but if I was going out to buy something, I would probably do a basket with a top to hide the remotes and the controllers. But even still, I think that this looks nicer than just having the remotes laid out if you're wanting to kind of disguise them a little bit. So that is all my remotes in one basket. And finally, style number five, as the French would call it, tray cute. I bought this tray at Target with the brass hardware. I believe it's from the Hearth and Hand Magnolia collection. Then these antique store books, my little topiary head. I got this vase at an antique store as well with that beautiful like floral lace pattern. I like the varying heights between the head and the vase. And then I am also reusing that candle from look number two. And that is all five looks. Did we make it? Did we clock in time? Under five minutes, we did it. Let me know which one was your favorite. I hope you enjoyed some of those styles. If you did, obliterate that like button, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one, I hope.